Benki. Great win for the side there. Great performance from the boys. Uh, they've been working hard all winter, as we mentioned, but to get outside onto the grass and to get a win under our belts is great feeling. Yeah, I think we, we had quite a tough uh, first game uh, and that, I think, was uh, a good learning curve for us, first out. And I think it is difficult because the blast is a few months away, uh, but we don't really have much time to prepare other than this. So it's nice to have those conversations and... Uh, there's nothing better than actually seeing it out in, in the middle and, and in a match rather than just the net. Uh, so uh, what has been great is a lot of our young players have had opportunities. They uh, uh, have taken it, they've learned, they're going to learn massively from this. And I think it just gives us some really good content to uh, digest over the next six weeks or so during the championship cricket. And so when the when the blast does start, we've, we almost feel like we a few steps ahead um, when, it, when, we, when we hit the, the ground in that, in that comp. Yeah. Thank you. We, we mentioned before that we've got a few players out here in the IPL and a few players that are not with us, but that's a great opportunity for our younger boys to come in and show what they can do. Yeah, I think they're very, very fortunate. You know, firstly, to, to be able to come to a place like India where uh, cricket is, is a religion and you actually you hear about it, but you get to, to really experience it, uh, not only the cricket, but the different culture and the people uh, so it's it's great for them to have the opportunity on the cricket field but also just the, the life experience I think is, is probably just as invaluable. And let's talk about Aspie there, four for, four for next to nothing really, bowled really well, bowled some good pace, good variation. Yeah he is a, he's a very exciting young cricketer, he's a strong man um, and he offers all three skill sets, you know he's good with a bat, with a ball and uh, he, I'm sure there will be a few uh, people in the hundred looking, looking out for him. But for us at Langs, I think it will be exciting to see what he can do on the field for us in, in the blast. And if he has a good, good few, few weeks there, then as we all know, the, there's so many opportunities in world cricket now. Um, but he has he's definitely got the, got the game for T20. White ball cricket, then on to red ball cricket for the next, uh, for the next couple of days. Um, yeah. Anything we're looking for in particular? I think we, we wanted to get as much white ball cricket as we could um, in uh, uh, because there isn't a lot of time for that. So that's sort of that now done. And we'll start now really preparing for that first game uh, against Surrey on, on the 5th. So now it'll just be into red ball cricket, back to uh, just getting the basics right. It's just nice to actually do it in a, in a live game. Uh, just it really is an opportunity for everyone to feel like they've already put the boots on, they've taken guard, they've got their run-ups right before that first game rather than feeling like you're trying to you find all those uh, you know, basic things when you're in a, in a competitive game. So it's great that we've, we've got the three days, we've got a bit of a rest tomorrow um, and then it'll just be, you know, I think they're a very strong red ball team so it's just about understanding what are those strengths, trying to get iron out any, any little cobwebs from the winter and uh, yeah, just getting ready for that first game. Magic coach, thanks for joining us. Cheers. Back to the studio. Cheers.